Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time for the poor video quality. I'm kind of deep in the heart of my shipping container. Uh, as you all know, I'm a big shipping co uh, container proponent. I live off grid. And this video is about the uh, preparing the for the dark winter to come. Now, there's been a lot of political upheaval and upheaval and we we all know um, <laughs> all of the uh, different differing and differences of opinion that we all have about that subject but I think as uh, as believers we kind of share a, a common theme and that's uh, ultimately the belief in uh, in our father and uh, and so uh, he tells us to prepare whether it's uh, Joseph or whether it's uh, Moses or even uh, Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach himself prepared uh, and so yeah this is about that and for us who live in a climate where we are affected by the cold for the quote dark winters to come um, I want to talk a little bit about preparedness and some of the things that uh, we can all do and some of the things that are often uh, forgotten about in terms of preparedness. And so, yes, uh, over here next, you know, I got some food storage over here, buckets, wheat. Uh, we're in my shipping container, one of them. Uh, we got, you know, some things like vodka here. Um, so one of the things, one of the least things that are talked about in preparedness is, uh, especially in the wintertime, is the cold and that you need to process wood for your wood stove. So as Pastor Dal says, always get yourself a wood stove, a cast iron wood stove that'll serve you for many, many decades and keep you warm in the cold. But you also need to run your chainsaw and to run your chainsaw. Yes, you need fuel, of course. So you need uh, additives um, like this still is what I use for many, many years. But I'm actually going towards this guy from Walmart. I mean, I couldn't believe it when I saw this. It's an excellent product. It's a two cycle oil mixture. Um, it's, uh, you know, the price cannot be beat. I mean, this thing is about seven bucks. This thing is about five bucks and you're basically getting um, um yeah you're getting um at least 40 percent 30 percent more and of course ultimately you can get something like this I, I like this too this is the um the royal purple stuff that's uh two cycle but anyway yeah enough about the two cycle engine stuff what i wanted to talk about is uh overall your chainsaw and the things you need uh to run your chainsaw so you need your fuel you need um you need uh, uh, the two cycle mixture for your for your um, gasoline but you cannot forget about this guy right here your chain lubricant or um, you know your bar lubricant your uh, chainsaw oil whatever you want to call it and this particular product is made by still and uh, I preach what I uh, what I practice so right there there's a case of uh, oil and there's another case behind it uh, also, you got a bunch of chains here. Let me bring that out. And a bunch of chains over here. And I want to show you up here. No, let me excuse all the camera work. Uh, bars, extra bars here. And of course, you know, two chainsaws of the exact same kind. Um, yeah, uh, two is one and one is none, right? So anyway, uh, what I wanted to get back to was this guy. A chainsaw uh, or lubricant or the chainsaw oil you're gonna burn up your bars as you can see I got plenty of bars up here these are all my steel bars here's a here's a fairly new one right there and then there's a whole bunch of stacks of more that I have here so yeah I mean uh, you as long as you have the fuel uh, you think you're good to go on your chainsaw as long as you have the chains you think you're good on the chainsaw but don't forget that two cycle mixture and don't forget your oil, your uh, bar and uh, chain lubricant. Otherwise, your chainsaw is no good. And then ultimately, as, as preppers go, uh, I don't have it here, but you know, here is a, is a mall. Obviously, I have axes that I can uh, cut down trees. I also have a great uh, silky saw that I, uh, silky saw that I bought. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give a shout out to Canadian Prepper because uh, he's one of the best preppers out there, I think. Uh, even though I don't agree with him on all the social economic uh, stuff, uh, that's fine because at least in terms of the preparedness element, he's, uh, he's, he's right on. So, um, yes, don't forget the chainsaw oil. Don't forget the two cycle um, fuel mixture uh, because, yes, the dark winter is almost here. 
And so, yeah, you need to be up and prepared for it. All righty. Shalom.